So the day of departure is imminent. And um, I wanted to um, eh, just talk about a couple things and throw up one last video before I get on the road. Um, you know, I, I'm very disappointed. Like I said, this was out of warranty, but this Power, Power D-Wise mic um, quit working. And it looks like this Purple Panda is working. Um, but, you know, when I finally came to realize, I mean, as much as I've worked on the trip, I mean, my God, I think I've been at it for four months now. I mean, you just can't, you can't get it all done. I mean, I got the rain barrel done in the back, and you might have seen that on some previous videos. That's my emergency water supply. You know, the leaves are all blown. I mean, every, everything is done it, it, that I have felt like I had to get done for before the trip. You know, I really wanted to play with this uh, uh, Movo mic, the VR, VXR10. But, you know, what I figure uh, while I'm camping, you know, besides hiking around the campground, uh, a lot, I do a lot of reading. You know, I don't listen to the radio. I just uh, sit down in my chair. And really, I wanted to read some just fictional books and just get away from everything. But, you know, it's okay. I, I don't mind doing a little you know, work on the mic and see if I can get it working on the trip, you know. Um, you know, this was the old mic. I'll take this to Best Buy and recycle it, you know, and um, I don't know what else to do with it. Uh, and then, uh, you know, I bought three new batteries uh, for the trip. And um, But I just kind of wanted to talk about things in general, um, you know, things you need to be thinking about. Uh, you know, I really think that this this is the month. I think, you know, if I want to make a prediction, and I'm going to put my neck out on a limb, this month or next month, you're going to see a stock market crash. Okay, and I think it's going to be biblical, just like in 1929. And a lot of people are going to lose so much. And because um, I just, I, I, you know, I do a lot of watching on YouTube, and I do a lot of research, and uh it just seems to me, and that's what, I, what I've been telling y'all, um, and that's what I've been preparing for, you know. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, hopefully I'm wrong, right? Wouldn't that be great? But, um, you know, one thing that I did want you to do, and uh, boy, I tell you, this has been a huge, even for me, I'm a prepper, man. I, you know, I, I buy stuff. I, you know, go out and, you know, you know, always in my head, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. So let's let's just talk about uh, weaponing up for the trip. And when I say weaponing up, okay, I got I got my whole bug out ensemble. It's gonna all be in the car. So what happens if you know I pull up into one of these uh, cities and somebody tries to carjack me? I, I can't you know it's, I know the police just say let them steal the car and then uh, you know hopefully you'll get it back. I can't do that, man. I'm going to have to defend the car. And uh, what's the best way to do that? So, you know, I, I've been doing research on weapons, um, you know. I, so, you know, I, I've shown the K-bar and the knife. Uh, so I have a knife. Knife ain't the best tool to defend yourself with. <laughs> your close proximity. If they got a gun, boom, you're done. Uh, can I carry a gun with me? No, man. Um, because... The Democrat, I'm going to be going through some Democrat states. And, uh, you know, if I shoot, you know, anybody, you know, it could be, uh, you know, a, a, you know, 10 time felon, you know, they're going to, they're going to come for me and, you know, and arrest me. So really I got to take out the assailant in, in any manner possible. Um, so let me just describe a couple multiple ways you can do that. So I, I will have bear spray next to me in the passenger seat of the car and I'll have the K bar right there. Um, is that optimal? No, I mean, the bear spray is only effective up to about 20 feet. Um, but that could, I could wipe the guy out and, uh, and I don't think even in the Democrat state, if I take his gun away and shoot him, you know, after I pepper sprayed him with the bear spray that, uh, they, they'd arrest me for that because I would have used his own gun to shoot him. <laughs> You know, so who, who, I mean, even a Democrat prosecutor that lets felons go is uh, is not going to take that one on. I don't think. I mean, I, the world's gone crazy. That's for damn sure. Um, so you know, that's the, the other thing that, uh, and I was reading about this. And, you know, it's kind of a, it was a good point. You know, somebody comes at you. You know, my mom's got some swords, 
um, that I bought her for just decoration down in the basement. And uh, on this trip, I'm going to, I want them, you know, I, not for, I mean, not per se for self-defense, but I mean, just because I think they're cool, you know, and, uh, and one of them's a samurai sword. And I tell you what, it's a sharp little instrument. And uh, that would probably be good in a, in a, in a fight where, you know, they got, you know, I understand if they got the gun, you got the sword, you know, you're going to lose. But uh, so, you know, I'm just thinking about things, you know, as I move along. And um, so that's uh, that's the first thing. I just wanted to talk about how when you're driving around, uh, because I think things are going to get much, much, much more dangerous. Uh, you know, as the economy crashes and the stock market goes down, there's going to be a lot of desperate people out there. And even around here in central Florida, I see a lot of crazy, uh, and I, I call them rednecks, but I mean, I don't know what you want to call them. Just stupid people that, you know, they'll, they'll pass me. I, cause I do about five over the speed limit and I understand, you know, a lot of times I get impatient when I'm behind an old person and they're doing 45 and a 55. Um, but, uh, these, these crazy people around here, they'll just go right around you on a double yellow line, you know? Um, but luckily we got a lot of, a lot of sheriffs, a lot of police, and I imagine they get their share of tickets, you know, and so that's up to them. That's why I just set it at five over. And, uh, and that's why I love that Prius prime. Cause it's got a little, little box up there that tells me what the speed limit is. Uh, cause somehow it reads a speed limit sign when I pass it. And that's a huge advantage, especially if you're going through Ohio where the speed limit goes from, you know, 45 to 55 to 65 to 70 to 70 to 65 to 55 and the police wait right behind those signs to arrest you because they know when you're doing 75 miles an hour and all of a sudden the speed limit drops to 55 boom they got you for a big ticket you know that's why i hated driving ohio um and i imagine you know other states they're they're getting desperate for money people and um so you know if you want to speed you you do what you want um, so, you know, we talked about carjacking, you know, talked about speeding. Um, I've kind of gone over the gear and, uh, you know, I, I, I did a, a, a hike recently and uh, I showed you, um, this, this bag right here and see the beauty of it is, this has got wheels, right? And so, you know, you can, I usually I just carry the backpack and I load, you know, like the, the sleeping bag and the, uh, and the sleeping mats and the, and the backpack. And, uh, here's something else I take along on my trips. Cause I always come up with something like, <clears throat> I don't remember my boy scout knots, uh, for tying the ropes off on the tents and stuff, just for an example. Okay. And years and years ago, I bought this camping and wilderness survival book and uh and look how well it served me okay uh and of course i keep it in this plastic bag you know whenever you're out in the forest or camping or whatever anything that can you gotta you gotta pretend that everything's gonna get wet i mean a storm blows in and you got everything on the picnic table then boom you know you're you're done so what i'm saying is with this rolling bag much more much better than a backpack is this is where I'm going to have all my camping gear. Now, if I do decide to go backpacking, like for an overnight trip, um, while I'm at the campground or whatever, you know, all I do is just take what I need out of here. And by the way, down in that bag is, is a packing list for the backpack. And then I just go through all my gear and load up the uh, backpack with what I need for however long I'm going to backpack. You know, sometimes it might be, I might even do a two day trip, uh, probably not on this one. And, you know, the other thing I wanted to talk about was how trips evolve and my wife you know i mean man oh speaking of my wife oh my god we had an argument tonight and uh and she was telling me how the second amendment needs to go away she said no, nobody no american should have a gun no american should have a gun well i think that we've seen the importance of the second amendment when you look at australia and look at what's happened in canada because they have no guns. They, they've been disarmed. And it's, it, they both have become communist nations and don't tell me they haven't. And we're on our way there for doggone sure. Um, but the only reason they can't really come down on the United States right now is the Second Amendment. And that's why it's so doggone important, people. You know, you, and, and this is another thing, you know, I mean, the, the, 
the police in Chicago are standing up against the vax mandates, and uh, that's a Democrat city. And uh, I, more power to them. I hope they have the courage to to keep fighting. I don't know. I mean, now now that that uh, authoritarian uh, mayor that they have, uh, she's threatening their pensions if they continue to strike against the uh, mandates. We'll see where that goes. You know, who knows, man. Uh, you know, you're seeing people in New York City, another Democrat city, protesting against the vax mandates. So we are seeing resistance. And uh, as long as we unite as a nation and stand against this tyranny, um, I think we're going to be all right. I hope. I got my fingers crossed. I mean, because we're heading down a dark path. And uh, it, it, they, and that's why it, it took me four months to prepare for this trip. And you know, another argument that I had with my wife tonight, you know, she's still got her 22 mile to the gallon uh, Kia. And, uh, and so I wanted her just, you know, she's a Democrat. I just wanted her to watch, because I, I watched Scotty Kilmer. If you don't watch him on YouTube, you should. He's pretty doggone good, man, I tell you. I, and uh, he just did a recent video talking about Han... Hyundai, or I, I always pronounce it Hyundai, but I think that's a, there's a different pronunciation. But anyway, that's what I had was a Hyundai Sonata, and uh, and he's talking about how he he hates the Korean cars, and uh, so it was real important for me to get a new car uh, to travel, and uh, and I told her, you know, and I tried to point her into to to videos on YouTube to to look at a new car for her. Because hers is a Kia, and I don't want her own an Kia, especially when it gets 22 miles to the gallon. And because what we're at three, 340 a gallon here in Florida, or something like that. Now, I mean, you know, God, just a year ago, it was a dollar ninety-eight. But um, and I and I so I, I encouraged her to um, to just look into it, you know, and uh, and and she wouldn't do anything. She's more interested in playing golf, you know. And I understand. I mean, she's she's retired now. Um, I consider myself semi-retired. And um, I, you know, I respect the fact she does get out there and play a lot of golf, and I, that's good exercise, uh, believe it or not. I mean, you know, 18 holes wears me out even in a cart now because I'm an old fart. All right, so that's, I guess I'll tie this video off right there, and uh, this will be it. Probably won't see me for a while. Um, I've been putting, I'm backing up all the videos to Rumble, and that's another thing she doesn't understand. She goes, why are you in your office so much? Why are you in there all the time? I said, because I'm trying to back, and I've got the videos backed up on my server, because, you know, I do expect YouTube to take me down at some point, because um, I don't think they want a conservative on YouTube, and the censorship's going to get me eventually. Um, so, cause you know, I talk about the vaccine mandates and all of that stuff and, uh, and natural immunity and all that stuff, you know, and, oh, there's no natural immunity. Everybody wants to listen to that Fachi idiot. You know, he, how in the hell he's still got his job? I don't even know, man. How can you be wrong 90% of the time and still keep your job? I mean, so anyway, I'm getting on my lecture box. Um, so that's it. Uh, so, and, and I was, I was trying to study some more about the Prius Prime uh, before I left, um, I never quite got to it, but I thought, you know what, I'll just throw the owner's manual. I'll, I'll, I'll always keep it in the car anyway, but I'll have it with me on the trip. And rather than reading a good fictional novel and just, you know, chilling out, I'll, I'll probably be reading about using this mic and reading about the, um, uh, the stuff on the Toyota Prius Prime. And who knows, I'll probably make a couple videos at the campground. And, uh, well, let's just get on the road. Let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh freedom, good to live in the Republican state of Florida where we are free with no vax mandates and no jab and no masks and no lockdowns. So you enjoy living in your authoritarian democratic states, just don't come to Florida. Stay the hell away from here. Go to California. They're Democrats. They'll welcome you. Go to New York, but don't come to Florida. Peace out and be free.